guys, welcome back to Wisting Alice. My name is Alice and today we are back with an Old Faithful, a mystery unboxing video. I love doing these videos. I feel like they do quite well on the channel. So really excited to be back with another one. And I'm actually doing one I've never done before. I didn't even know they existed until I was researching mystery Harry Potter things to unbox, but they are Harry Potter trading cards. You can kind of see like that. You get eight cards in a deck um, from the films of Harry Potter, the evolution trading cards. Look for special silver cards and gold cards. So they're obviously like the special ones. So silver cards, you get one in every nine packs and gold cards, one in every 18 packs. And I have five packs, so you, you do the math. <laughs> so <clears throat> I think what we're going to try and do is just try and collect as many unique cards as possible and I'll aim to get a silver I'll keep things simple aim for a silver card um but a gold one would be pretty special and I have no idea what these look like on the inside I know nothing um all I know is that they've got very boring packaging I have to say and it looks very old-fashioned I feel like they maybe don't make these anymore especially because the seller only had five left I got it from Amazon um, I wanted more than five, but they literally only had five left. Um, so eight cards, 40 cards overall. So let's just get started. I'm really excited to see what these look like. Now, normally when I do unboxings, I'll do like zoom ins on what each of them looks like. There's 40 cards. I'm not going to do that, but I'll maybe do a zoom in of like one to show you kind of what the vibe is. Okay. Okay. Number one. It's literally called Harry Potter. <laughs> it's a picture of Harry. There we go. And it says on the back, like it's literally, you can see it there, it says Harry Potter and all the cards are numbered. Now this has a gold background and it's shiny, but I'm going to assume it's not a gold card. I feel like getting the Harry Potter one is kind of like, it's probably going to be in every pack. Do you know what I mean? So, okay, we've got Harry. Next one is called Love. Okay, it's Hermione and Ron. I really like that actually. I like the, the frame. I mean, like it's pink. It's super cute. Okay. And then on the back, it's got like another picture of Hermione and Ron. So you kind of get like two for one. This one's called Quidditch. <laughs> it's literally just a quaffle. I thought it was going to be a picture of Harry playing Quidditch or something, but nope. Just a quaffle. Uh, magical Creature. Okay, it's Buckbeak with Harry riding on it. I have to say these cards, like they, they feel good. You know, they're not they're not Pokemon playing card level. Not that I play them, but I, I know what they feel like. They're very like, you could rip them, um, but you know, they're more than just paper. Um, but the like picture quality isn't great. Like this is really grainy. Like they've obviously taken a screenshot of the film and like blown it up. Um, so the quality <laughs> isn't great. I do feel like if you're looking for a business idea, someone out there could definitely make better quality <laughs> versions of these. Okay, we've got a Hagrid card. That's cool. I think I like collecting all the character cards for sure. This one just says character. That's so weird. So it's grip hook. Why does it just say character? Do you see? I don't know if you can see on the red there. That's strange. These are so low quality. And this says Defense Against the Dark Arts Professor. Why doesn't it say Umbridge? These are weird. I think these, it's got the official Wizarding World branding on them, but they feel like a ripoff. Um, and then Hermione, like that one a lot. So in terms of characters, we've got Hermione. Also, they all have a frame. So if you see, for example, this Umbridge one has a frame, but these two don't. Well, I suppose that one kind of does, but Hermione's doesn't. These are weird. These are so, so weird. Okay, so far we've got Hermione, the Quaffle, Umbridge, Griphook, Hagrid, uh, Buckbeak, Her Hermione and Ron, and Harry. Okay, that's the first set. Let's open the second. Yeah, I'm not particular. I love like opening these. It's like fun, you know what I mean? And if you had, you know, friends who had them too, it would be fun to trade them. But I do feel like these are really, really bad quality. Hold on, I've got a dog biting my trouser leg. Here you go. Here you go. Play with this instead. Play with this instead. No, she's having none of it. Okay. If, if you hear growling, that's what that is. Next one. Triwizard Tournament. Oh, it 
it's oh it's the Durmstrang logo. That's strange. Especially to have that represent Triwizard Tournament. Okay. I feel like I'm being so cynical, but hey, the Malfoys. Narcissa not in the picture. And look as well, like they they haven't done the frame on the right hand side. Or it's my left, your right. Oh, it's half of a card. So if you see there, there's the other half. Okay, I'll let them off with that. We've got the Weasleys, which is also half of a card. We have Snape. Nice, another character card. Neville. Like that one a lot. That one's quite cool. And then we have Hermione again. So that's more like, I feel like more... So maybe all the old ones, like the ones in the first couple of films have frames and the later ones don't. Maybe they were like later add-ons. I don't know. We've got Harry again. So that's their first repeat. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure the first one I got was the same. Oh no, it's not the same. They're different Harrys. Never mind. Okay, then we've got Magical Place. Why doesn't it just say the Ministry of Magic? But excitingly, do you see that border? I think we've got our first silver card. That's really cool. Oh my gosh. I didn't think we were actually going to get one. You know, one in nine. And I only bought five packets. So the odds were not in our favor. But yes, our first magical card. And then we have Harry again. A different Harry. Nice. Okay, we've got... What's eight? Eight times two. Sixteen. <laughs> and one uh, silver card, which is really cool. One, two, our third pack. Let's see what we have here. We have Magical Object. It's just general potions. And why didn't they just say potions? I don't know. Horcrux, the snake. But again, why don't they have a picture of Nagini? Why is it like some weird like stock art snake? <laughs> Dobby, what a little cutie. We have oh, Lupin. Nice, another character one. We have Molly. Amazing. We have, this is another love one. Lavender and Ron. Bit of a dark picture. We have Ron by himself. So we've got the full trio now in character card form. And we have the Chamber of Secrets, but it's one of three. That seems so unnecessary. So it's just little Harry all on his own. Okay, we're flying through, we're flying through. I definitely have thoughts, but I'll get through all the cards first. Okay, we have um, Fleur Delacour, Dele I can never say Delacour, at the uh, Yule Ball. Very nice. We have the Hogwarts Express, like that one a lot. We have Ginny, another character card. Draco Malfoy. Amazing. I feel like I'm getting all the main ones. We have another Snape. That's a different Snape, I'm pretty sure. We have another special card. Fang, look at that. Dang, Fang, you deserve that. So that's two silver cards. I'm crushing it. I'm absolutely crushing it. We've got Hermione, um, and it's one of three as well. So there's a Ron and a Harry one. And then we just have Harry. And his little lonely little jumper. Okay, last pack. Let's see what we've got. What are you barking for? She wants the cards. Okay, so we've got Yule Ball, we've got Madame Maxine and Hagrid. We have a chocolate frog box like that. We have the Hogwarts logo. This one's called Triwizard Tournament. I think they're mislabeled some of them. We've got um, Slughorn. Forgot his name for a second there. We have Lavender Brown. We have another silver one. Oh my gosh. Uh, this is the Love Goods house. Wow, we've got three in five packs. We've got real lucky. No gold though, I don't think. And um, we've got another Hermione. And we've got another Ron that makes up one of that third set. 
and that's all the cards okay let's let's review let's review what we got i don't think we got any replicas at all obviously we got like a couple of harry's for example but none of them were the same cards so that's pretty good and i don't know how many cards there are to say you've like collected them all but you know most of these videos i've done before i've got to repeat in whatever i've bought so this is the first one i think where everything's completely unique so it shows that there's a lot of cards out there i would say so yeah, we got Ron, Hermione. I won't go through them all again, but we did get three silver cards and I really do like the look of them. Like they're really special looking. So that's pretty cool. And I imagine getting a gold one would be pretty exciting, but I got a good chunk of cards there, you know? Pretty happy with that. And I feel like they would be nice to kind of, you know, get like a folder for them and have them on display or something like that. So overall, I would say this was really fun. Like unboxing any mystery thing is fun I just enjoy it in general and it's always nice to share with you guys it does feel like I got a substantial amount for my money do you know what I mean no getting bitten again um you know it felt like and it took a bit of time as well you know I felt like that is definitely a bonus of it the negative is I feel like no one who knew anything about Harry Potter was involved in this at all <laughs> a lot of things there was like a lot of little mistakes a lot of things that weren't quite right um, I feel like there was a real mismatch between the cards that were represented by the first couple of films. They had like a real like cozy vibe. They had lovely like nice ornate frames. And then the later ones had a completely different like more dramatic look, which does go with the films, don't get me wrong. But I feel like you need some consistency amongst your cards. And like I say, some of them were labelled wrong. Some of them were labelled weirdly. Like why was Umbridge labelled Defence Against the Dark Arts Professor? Like that's, you know, things like that. I just feel like they pretty much just googled like the wikipedia page <laughs> and that's how they came up with the cars and just google image searched pictures and then blew them up so the um what's the word the not the quality the quality of the picture isn't that great i can't remember what the word is so I think if you're looking for just something sort of quick and fun to do, maybe you want to add them as like a stocking stuffer at Christmas or something for a Harry Potter fan, you definitely won't be disappointed by them. But I think if you're maybe a slightly more serious collector and, you know, you're interested in, you know, real proper Harry Potter Wizarding World things, I don't think these are for you because they're definitely, they, I think they've stuck the branding on them. But I think that's about as much involvement with Wizarding World as there are with these cards. That being said, I had a lot of fun with them. They were super cute. Um, really, really nice, you know, activity to do, especially if you get to buy uh, multiple packs to have a go with. But like I say, I bought them on Amazon. I don't know if you can buy them anywhere else, but um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. My toes are being bitten off. So I'm going to end this video here. Just make it a bit of a shorter one. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.